Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Wilson Lords of Mayhem. To confront their Grand Inquisitor. There, Hemlock works for the Covenant of the Blind and Araman. Probably always has. He's as much a Republican as I am now. If stories about him are true, I hope you don't cross paths with him, for your sake. I know what to expect now. Okay, then let's talk to Valeria. And so this is it. We march to war against the purifiers, against the Covenant of the Blind, against Fury itself. Looks like it. You know the plan? I know their plan, all right. What about ours? What do you mean, ours? We open the gate. I'm talking about Hemlock. You know he will be out there. Opening the gate is one thing, but we have to rat him out and finish this. One way or another. I know, sister. We end everything this time. No matter the odds? No matter the odds. Brother, I'm proud to do this at your side. Me too, Val. We'll get through this together. Oh yeah, we will. We will get through that. Okay, then let's get into the red wastes. Let's see whether they are really going to be red. But I... Oh my... It's lagging a little bit. I'm sorry for that. I saw this beam's origin below Cordenon. Following it will lead us straight to Crimson Keep. At least there's no way to get lost. Oh yeah. I guess so. This thing's... Okay, again. Oh my goodness, the explosion there can catch us actually by surprise. If I am un... Um, if I am... And if I'm not very careful, or a at least a little tiny bit careful there, then of course these explosions can tear us down and, you know, just, so to say, bring us to pieces. And that of course would be not very cool overall. So I, I have to say one thing, I hate those um, wasps or the flying, the flying BC because um, in certain or most times you actually need to stand still and then of course that is utterly expensive not expensive but um the hits of these guys although the i want to say the bullets no the projectiles or whatever they are spitting the impalers are very very slow but if they hit they i uh, do well a larger amount of damage than you would actually think that is the weird part about them but anyhow i don't even know why i'm talking about that wonderful landscape again i think that is the very very great part in this game that it looks absolutely amazing um the cry engine of course is a very good what the hell a very amazing little game engine as you can see but it is obviously really pretty looking not only for ego shooters for first person shooters but for um i need a breather but for um rpg games as well as you can see never thought that that was at one point coming that a rpg game would use uh choose one item um, would use that game engine very very amazing that, that the same thing what was um, that surprised me there that in the end FIFA the FIFA game uses the frostbite engine which was the engine of the one of your battlefield series at least I don't know whether from the beginning but at one point so I always thought that this was used for ego shooters FPS games only but I was then proven wrong many many times there Okay, these are ugly little beasts. Come on, bring them down. So we will even take a quick look at the boots we have received. Maybe, just maybe that is a tinsy little upgrade. Although I don't think so. Let's see here. Oh, okay, no upgrade. Fair enough. Except that, of course. So as good as your jump is, not always that is very, very necessary after all. So let's actually, actually, that is what I want to take, try to take these offerings, why not? Come on, where are all of them actually coming from? I didn't even 
I did at least not pull them and I did not see them to be honest. Okay, what am I taken? I can I can go through. Yeah, I know there was a dead body which will drop some loot to us. That will of course do very very fine. Okay, gauntlet picked up. Oh my god. That is absolutely and that is even support one for critical hit chance. That of course is great. Uh, support three. Oh my goodness. I can't decide. Support one as well. Elemental resistance material. Rage regeneration on hit. Force feed regeneration. Ma material alignment. Oh, one to eight. Oh, two spells. Okay. And this is to attack, so I'll right now, guys, go with this one. And we even already take a quick look if it is overall increasing anything. No, or rather decreasing and decreasing as well. Uh, as well, let's see if we socket it with the critical hit um, chance. Whether that might then be something we should use. Yes. So always obviously worth to take a look at them shrines. I know it's right now not particularly necessary to take a look at those or to take those legendaries, but we have the chance then why not? Um, I mean that would at least th 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 there is one more enemy coming. The end boss will come. It will definitely come and at that stage it, I think is good to be um, prepared and that would save me the session before the recording where I <laughs> farm 3-4 hours and then go back in the game. If Hemlock's possessed, you think you can still save him? He is not possessed. Small difference. I disagree. He willfully put himself in the service of Araman. I don't see why he would do that, but he did. There is no saving him from himself, is there? Frankly, I don't know. We have awakened his will to resist. He's fighting back against Ariman's control, even if that does bring him a measurable pain. Maybe we should assist him to break free, rather than put him down. He turned Edric against you. He abandoned me when he could have stopped Malus. Even if we could bring him back, I'm not sure I could forgive what he did to us. You judge the Grand Inquisitor. I see a prisoner of his own mind striving for moments of freedom. Would you have done any better? Would I? I wouldn't have made a pact with Araman in the first place. But I get your point. Yes, he definitely has a little point there. And anyhow, they are family. So what is family elsewise for if you are not stick together overall? Okay, guys, that, sadly enough, right now already... Leak? No, we still... No, I think we've still got a minute. That's fair enough, but we still need to go back to town very, very soon. But I, we can already go down right here. Let's do that. Come on. And we have to kill all the enemies in the area. Need that she doesn't need to come down with us here. So he has support one as well. So... Um... Okay, let's use the town portal. I, in the end, would wonder and laugh a little bit if critical spell support one. Let's actually see uh, support one, support one. Let's see decrease that set and a decrease as well. Okay, that's the only way how I can in the end um. As stupid as I am, see what kind of influence on our damage this wonderful item has. Okay, so critical hit chance score. Let's take a look. No, that's too bad. Okay, so that was nothing. But guys, that right now leads us already to the end of this episode, and you know it. I as usual, really, really 
thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please guys give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye